a gal named Mary Mahoney and everybody had a crush on her and she and I were part of an expedition down the Grand Canyon rafting and kayaking and I was in a kayak and she was in this raft and she she was rowing along and the upstream headwinds as they do in the afternoon because the canyon heats up just got so strong that she was just pulling on one oar and the fellow on the other side of the raft he was pulling on the other oar and I asked, hey, Mary, how's it going, pulling with that one oar? And she said, that's not so bad. I can get more power with the one. And the cataract actually, on, previously, on an Outward Bound course she was working, <clears throat> she said, I broke the fitting that the oar lock went into. And so I tried tying it on, and it wouldn't work. And so I just had the one oar for the entire trip. And as long as I had current, I could get steerage. I could go through the rapids, whirlpools, no problem. But the flat water, I just couldn't. And so I had to have three students on the other side to balance me out with paddles. And I said, hmm, I thought about it for a minute, and I thought, I bet you kind of thrive on chaos. And she said, yeah, I think I do. So this song is for her and for any of us that need some current in our lives for steerage. <laughs> Thank you. 
You don't know why Getting crazy as you say But you know reservation and I went down for another week and when I, uh, I started smelling something in my kayak and I looked around and, and I see this baggie and it looks like it's got a brownie in it and some of it's got onto my spare PFD and it's, it's some poop, some freaking shit in a bag in my, um, in my kayak. And I started thinking about all the people that I, that had left and all the people that that I met along the way, and I really couldn't figure out who I'd pissed off. I thought, well, there was a crazy guy who was like venting to us one night, and I thought, well, maybe she got pissed off at me. I have no idea. And uh, and then finally, uh, in an email a month later or something, when I was asking folks, uh, guys like, oh yeah, that was that was Mary Mahoney. She she uh, she shit in your boat. And I'm like, what? And she and I were working a uh, course together. I was going to be the course director, and I talked to my um, my boss, Mike Dehoff, and I'm like, Mike, I don't know how I'm going to work with her. I've never worked with her before. This is this river trip, and freaking put she shit in my freaking kayak. Like, that's that's some weird shit, you know, weird chick. And I never even like hit on her. Like, I don't even get it. And he's like, Well, Bart, maybe don't bring it up right away, but maybe after you know you're working a little bit in prep and everything, you could just say, Hey, Mary, how come you shit in my boat? And I'm like, okay. Couldn't do it. Couldn't do it. First thing she walked in, I'm like, I'm so friggin' pissed at you. You shit in my kayak. I don't know what the heck. And she's like, oh, you, th oh, you think I shit in your kayak? It's like, no, 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 no. Remember that little, that little foofy dog that was running around on the shore at the takeout? Well, that, that thing pooped on the shore, and I didn't want it to like go in the river, and so I picked it up in a baggie, and I thought, who could I prank with this? And I thought, oh, you're pretty fun to prank. I'll uh, put it in your kayak. I'm like, uh-huh. Oh, okay. Great. Anyway, that course went fine. I, I, I forgave her. And at the end of the season, uh, we had a chance to go to Yosemite, but I also was given a bunch of work. And she's like, are you going to really pass up all this fun climbing with your buddies in Yosemite just for a little work? I'm like, you're right. I need to go. And so did a bunch of walls, did El Cap and, and stuff like that, Leaning Tower. And I was getting ready to go. And, and, and I still hadn't done a wall with her or um, Kathy Fenaris. And thought, okay, let's, let's, let's do one smaller one together. And they didn't really like it. I did it with uh, Rob Nielsen also. And, and we, we got most of the way up and they, and they bailed after, um, after a bid. And we, we went on a little further and didn't quite finish it. And she told me later, uh, now she's like a really good, um, long distance runner, like runs hundred milers and stuff like that. Um, and, and she's really happy. And she said, you know, um, you're personally responsible for having me give up rock climbing because I realized how much I hated it on that climb with you. And so, so yeah, that's my friend Mary Mahoney, this girl that drives me crazy and everybody's got a crush on and she likes to swing those, that poi fire around and the other guys would try it and they would like bang it in themselves and stuff like that and fire would be going everywhere, but I didn't try it with the fire. So that's the end of that story.